Hey y'all. So today we're going to dig in a little bit more about Ruth. And if you've had some time and if you haven't yet, if you have some time this week, I encourage you to go back and read the book of Ruth. It's for it's just four chapters, really short. And um, the story account is rich. And we, we read Ruth chapter one last week, and it really does give us um, insight into Ruth's character. And as you read the book of Ruth, so you read the account, you see that that is really what um, strikes her um, about to Boaz. Th that's what he notices about her, and that's what makes her different. Um, what separates her from other women and, and what causes um, her to grab his attention. And so we ended last week just a, a little bit tying into um, contrasting Tamar and Ruth and how very differently they, they were handled and how Judah who, you know, is one of the 12, 12 tribes of Israel, God's chosen people. And this man absolutely dealt wrongfully um, towards Tamar. And then Naomi, who is a widow, released her daughters-in-law um, to be free and to start over. It, that's it's really a lot to, to sit and ponder about that. But, you know, even though Naomi did release Ruth and Orpah, we read those very, very familiar scriptures in Ruth chapter 2, uh, Ruth chapter 1, um, verse 16. And Ruth says, so this is, um, Orpah has gone, and she, Naomi turns to Ruth, and Ruth says, Urge me not to leave you or turn back from following you. For where you go, I will go, and where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be your my people, and your God, my God. Where you die, I will die, and there will I be buried. The Lord do so to me, and more also, if anything but death parts me from you. And so, we've all heard those scriptures read, but the, one of the most amazing things about this is that... Um, Ruth, of course, is a Moabite, so she is not an Israelite. She is a, a foreigner. She's not of the household of Israel. But when she married um, Elimelech's son, she became part of the Israelite family. And she does not want to be outside of this family of people. Um, I, I think, you know, when a, a new follower of Christ comes in and when, if you can remember back to a time where you didn't know God or where you were not a follower of Christ, or maybe, you know, think back several years where you didn't know him like you know him now. And I, I've thought before, I don't ever want to be in a position where I don't know him or where I don't have him or where if you if you, like it's hard for us to imagine not having the ability to trust in God not having the ability to count on the father or not having the ability to you know be able to stand on his word or promise but Ruth as a Moabite did not have that until she came in to the household of Israel so if she leaves Naomi and goes back to the Moabites, goes back to her father's house and starts all over again, she loses that family. She loses that favor of God because she will no longer be in the house of Israel. And I, I think that is really what... Um, ties Ruth to Naomi is this bond that she she doesn't want to be without 
And can't you understand that today? Can't you understand the feeling of what would I do if I couldn't call on God? What would I do if I couldn't count on his promises as truth? And we'll pick up here tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye, y'all.